Welcome back to Think Thrice Problem Solving. Today we're going to solve this integral, the integral from 0 to 1 of ln of x dx, but we're not allowed to use integration by parts. So we're going to use Feynman's technique instead. So this is going to be is a really quick, fun uh, little integral. Um, I really enjoy it. It kind of shows us the power of Feynman's technique. So if you want to try to do it without integration by parts, go ahead and take a minute, do it on your own. Um, I bet you'll have some trouble. Um, otherwise, let's jump into a solution here. So what we're going to do um, is first I want to notice that uh, we have ln of x here. So ln of x, when does ln, ln of a number pop up? So it pops up when we take a derivative of x to some number. So if I take the derivative with respect to a of x to the a, then what I'm going to get out of this is the natural log of x times x to the a. And that's just what I'm going to get out here. So what I notice here is if I had the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the a dx, and I called that i of a. Okay, so this is a function of a. So a, whatever we change a to may change our solution here. If I was to take the derivative with respect to a, so we're going to take i prime of a, then what we're going to end up getting is that integral from 0 to 1 of x to the a times the natural log of x. So that looks like a kind of random step that we just took. But what I want you to notice is that if I took i prime of 0, if I plug in 0 for a, that's going to give me the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the 0 times ln of x, which just happens to be the integral from 0 to 1 of ln of x dx. Okay, so it turns out that our original equation is i prime of 0 if we have i of a as this integral up here. So what I notice is I can actually solve this integral up here. So this integral up top, I can solve and get uh, the integral of x to the a is going to be x to the a plus 1 divided by a plus 1. And I'm going to evaluate that from 0 to 1. So that's going to give me... <coughs> Uh, that's going to give me, I'm going to plug in 1 for x, so that's going to give me 1 over a plus 1. And then minus plugging in 0 for x just gives me 0. So I get 1 over a plus 1. So what I want you to notice is that this is i of a still. We just evaluated it. So now, if I come down here and I wanted to get i prime of a, i prime of a is going to be the derivative with respect to a of 1 over a plus 1. And we can take that derivative. That's going to be negative 1 over a plus 1 squared. So now we have a new expression for i prime of a. So i prime of a is negative 1 over a plus plus 1 squared. And we already said that our original expression was i prime of 0. So all we have to do now is say that i prime of 0, let's plug in 0 for a, and we get negative 1 divided by 0 plus 1 squared, which just ends up being negative 1. And using this clever technique, we're now able to solve this without using any integration by parts. All we did was kind of work backwards and use that dummy variable inside of our integral, this dummy variable a. So that's the beauty of Feynman's technique, um, using that dummy variable to kind of trick our way into a solution. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, technique to solve the integral. If you did, please like and subscribe. 
If you have your own problem that you'd like me to do, feel free to submit that to the email that's on the uh, uh, page for the channel. Otherwise, as you're working through problems, think once, think twice, and when you get stuck, think thrice.